Welcome back to pregame.tv Sunday night baseball action. We're going to take a look at Boston at the LA Angels. I'm in studio with Ken Thompson and Marco D'Angelo. Ken, the LA Angels, is this finally, have they put it together? I mean, they had a nice run, then they, you know, mediocre a couple games, and then they had a big series against St. Louis, took two out of three from them. Not happy in the last game they took. I was on St. Louis with You're Wayne. You're not the right? only one. Chuck was on. <laughs> that was Chuck's play, and I know he was snake bitten there. But uh, for Angel fans, it is good to see for the first time Josh Hamilton come up with a key home run in a situation where they were in dire straits. Pujols gets on, and then Hamilton, the two-runner, and it was a no-doubter to center field. Oh, yeah. And then First and third, no outs. They get two outs, and then all of a sudden, the base hit by Ibar wins the game. So that, that crushes you if you add St. Louis. And again, I look at somebody like Wainwright sitting there in the dugout going, what the heck, man? I could have won this game. I could have gotten the last two outs. You, you don't want to second guess a, a good manager like Matheny, and I think he's a good manager. And again, the catching background, so he knows pitchers probably better than most managers, like a Girardi as well. Uh, I think a lot of catchers, they can see it in the pitcher. But uh, again, those are games that crush him. We've seen it. Too many blown saves around the league. Yeah, and it's not the first time it's happened to Wayne, right? I mean, this guy's pitched phenomenal all year long. And he should, I mean, if you look at his stats, you know, we always talk about the quality starts, you know, if you give up three runs or less you know this guy never has a bad start he should you know you look at it and say with that offense he should never lose but uh, good game for the Angels I was not happy it you know fortunately I had three plays that day one two out of three so I can kind of yeah, rush that one off still but, though to go th you were right there to go three and oh that's <laughs> that, that makes your day for right sure. but whenever you know just is a better you know talking you can absorb a loss like that when everything else is clicking but whenever you're like running bad and you have a game like that those mm -hmm. ones just they eat yes, you up yeah, they, no they do and uh but looking here for Sunday you've got two pitchers Weaver and Lackey both guys are pitching well you've got some t two offenses that right now are playing well mm -hmm. so you know do you see that continuing with these two pitchers on the mound well that's the thing I'm going to uh I'm going to look at the at the total in this game, and again, it, you know, sometimes you can look at what teams have done lately, and if you look at that only, and not examine the the, the particular game, then sometimes you're going to fall into a trap. This to me is a huge game for Lackey personally because he's going back to Anaheim against the Angels, and he's got something to prove. And I know you're a situational handicapper. I know uh, you like to look at things like that. I definitely do. And talking about this run of the Angels, it's amazing how when a team starts to play well, it just like everybody starts rolling. Everybody starts going. I mean, talk about we made fun of them all year. We used to, you know, I've called them the human pinata a few times, Joe Blanton. He's been pitching well in his last, you know, several starts. It's like, you know, it's contagious whenever things start going well. Um, Boston has held their last three opponents uh, to two runs or less. Now, we're taping on Friday, so we don't know the Friday and Saturday results. But heading into Friday night, three straight games, great pitching performances from the Boston starters. And the Angels have been doing it uh, as well. Uh, the Angels, they've held five of their last seven opponents heading into Friday to two runs or less. So you've got the makings for, you know, a, a pitcher's duel on uh, Sunday night. But you know what? This is your free pick. Let's make it official. There you go. And again, if I was just solely looking at the way the two offenses have been clicking for both teams, I would probably look at the over. But like I said, this is a personal game for Lackey. He's been solid. Uh, 27 strikeouts, just three walks in his, uh, in his last several games. And uh, in his last two games, he's been very, very solid. Only seven earned runs in his last 29 innings pitched and only two home runs. That's big for Lackey. Want to keep the ball in the ballpark. You do that, you have a good chance to win. He's been very solid. Jared Weaver, finally looking like the Jared Weaver we expected the Angels to have. And, of course, he went on the DL, came back, wasn't as sharp, but the last two, he's been very sharp. Now, he didn't get a decision in one of those one seven innings, only gave up one run, then only gave up one run in the last game, a nice win. So, look for Jared Weaver, Long Beach State kid. And, of course, I've got my ties there to the beach, uh, always pulling for the dirt bags and anybody that comes out of Long Beach State. And uh, this is no exception. So, I'd like to see Weaver have a good game. I'd like to see, of course, Lackey continue what he's done so well over his last several starts. And then, 
I'm looking at this game to go under. Now, I don't know what type of total I'm going to get, Marco, but uh, I'm thinking maybe around an eight. Uh, I'm hoping this Sunday, just because the two offenses have been clicking, might be a seven and a half. But again, I think both teams are going to be really focused on this one, and it's going to be a, a tense game. And I think both pitchers are going to go tit for tat, and we're going to see some scoreless innings. A lot of goose eggs, a couple home runs, but I'm looking for this game somewhere around a 3 1, 3 2, maybe 4 1 game. Look for a lot of donuts on the scoreboard. I am. I'm looking nothing. for it. And, you know, you said about Weaver's last two starts, he said he's been sharp. The one thing, what makes it even more impressive, those two starts were against the Tigers and the Cardinals. Tigers, you know what that lineup can do. Mm -hmm. And St. Louis absolutely pounds right-handers, and he handcuffed them. So he's on top of his game right now as far as Weaver goes. So there you have it. Ken says to take Boston, L.A., Sunday night baseball action ESPN under the total. Uh, looks like a good play from Ken. We're going to – that's it for this week for the videos. Be sure to check out Tuesday. Uh, you'll have the crew in, Brian Leonard, Vegas runner Steve Fezzik. Uh, Ken will be back on the weekend next week. Uh, buddy, you're going to be, I don't know who's going to be sitting here with you. We'll have to see there who comes in. People impersonating Marco D'Angelo yeah. again. Yeah, I'm going to head back to Pittsburgh for a little bit there through the All Star break and that. So I'll be back in a couple weeks. But uh, stay tuned uh, Tuesday for the videos and catch Ken on uh, next weekend. And of Thank course, you. we're going to get some uh, football win total videos up there for you yeah, as well. Yeah, check that out all summer long at pregame.tv. We'll have win total all summer as we head into August and the start of the season. That's it for this week from pregame.tv.